All right, so this is uh, for week seven, our experiment on water flow and related to the pump. Last week, we figured out how to connect the pump to measure the electrical energy coming in. This week, we're gonna see how much work or energy uh, this pump can do against by moving water up, uh, a, up a tower, essentially. So what we're gonna do, uh, once the electrical connections are made, you'll still be able to make the voltage and current measurements that were done last week. Um, the input on the pump is on the bottom side, the suction side of the pump, and it will come out of the uh, bottom of the tank. The tank should be filled to approximately the first uh, flat rung on the tank. Um, the height that we're going to be measuring today, and again, we're going to do an experiment of flow rate and efficiency versus height. And the height is not from the ground, it's from the top of the water inside the tank, which is approximately here, to where we're moving the water up. And we're going to gradually move the, the output up using the, the output from the uh, pump. Okay, so we're going to do this experiment. So there's our starting point right there, essentially. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to capture a fixed amount of water. So you'll get the mass of your water. In this case, it's probably about 100 milliliters, maybe 75. Mark it inside the cup, and we'll catch it uh, here during the experiment. All right, um, and then we'll get the chance to move it up as we go. So first thing we got to do is uh, get water inside the pump. When the pump has air in it, it doesn't work very well. And so we're going to um, tip this up a little bit, let the air bubbles out, maybe even um, wipe off the end of this, and then suck a little water up through the pump. I think I've got most of the bubbles out of that. If it has air bubbles in it, it's going to spin and you won't see water moving. So if you hear it running but no water's moving, that's probably the problem. So we'll stick this in here. We've got our cup ready almost ready. As we go up, we're going to use the earplugs to plug the holes because you can imagine the water runs back down and might not get caught in the cup. We want to catch everything uh, that comes up, the, uh, that gets fed down the tube. So we're going to do that. So the key to this is don't stop the pump. Let's just keep working. A little bit of splash of water isn't going to hurt anything. And with three of you working on the team, you should be able to get this done very quickly. You're going to do your pump and then you're partnering with another group and you're going to help them, let them do their pump and you're going to collect data from both. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to turn our pump on. So I'll move my switch over, and the pump started. So the, the water started flowing. Take your current measurements at this height, and then measure the time it takes to capture our volume of water. So if I have another partner, I'll say, go. Watch the line inside. And stop. Okay, so then we dump that water back out, set the cup back in. Move the water up, or roll up an earplug, stick it in, uh, ready, set, go. Watch the water in the tank again. And as we get close to the line, we say stop. Again, we dump that out. And again, it's easier with three people. Move this up, fill the other hole, and Tell my stopwatch person, go. And you can see, so this process continues until the pump won't actually push any more water. So I'll say stop to my partner and dump this out. Now let's pretend that I've gone all the way up the tank. And so I'm gonna slowly move up the tank here and show you how the water flow rate diminishes. And so I'm gonna leave it right here. And we've got water coming out in a few spots, but you can see the flow rate is much less. And I haven't plugged all the holes yet, which you would have done when, during your test. So the amount of time takes much longer. And so that's what influences the efficiency. So again, your experiment is take it up until it won't actually pump any more water. And so I'm going to lift this up, and you'll see it stop about five feet high. It won't actually pump. It's working too hard. The water inside this tube is too heavy for it to push up. So as we come down, it starts flowing again. All right, so that's the end of that. So I'm going to shut off the pump. And again, you're taking data at each height and plugging the hole as you go up. Now, you're going to have to switch pumps. So I'm going to blow air, clean this off, blow air back through, and then clamp off the little valve. All right. So then you can carefully pull off the hose on both sides. As soon as I get it to come off, pull the leads off put your other pump on and repeat the test again.
After this one's done, there's another experiment just like this that uses um, a fountain pump, and we'll discuss that uh, in class.